This is a video walkthrough of the Pemberton Mystique. It's a 39 by 12 two bed. And it's got double glazing and gas central heating. We'll have a look around and see what's what. Have a look at the layout, condition, all that sort of thing. So we've got this living room area which has got um, two two-seater sofas and then an armchair. As you can see. We've got a nice electric fire unit there, just fitted on the wall there, sort of a floating fire. Coffee table, and then you've got some storage cupboards and a big shelf there over on the other side, on the um, side door side. As you can see, as I said, you've got the armchair and then two two-seaters, so plenty of seating in here freestanding those as well you could move those seating around depending on where you wanted to um, put your telly and all that sort of thing you've got sliding doors on the front sliding patio doors as well which is nice and lots of uh, windows across the front there uh, we've got a sort of partition wall for the um, keeping uh, sort of the living area from the kitchen so whilst it's open plan it's also kind of shut off so um, that may be quite handy so stepping towards the kitchen dining area we've got the uh, dining table here with four chairs got a nice dresser unit behind as well with um, shelves and cupboard units below and then turning to the side here to show you the kitchen we've got a five burner hob gas hob and gas oven as usual drawers to the side and then it is strong I can't open the fridge oh I can just about but it's um as you see it's good we just got it um, strung up there for um, transport so um, can't open that but there's a fridge freezer there fitted integrated fridge freezer um, lots of cupboard space in and around the sink above the sink uh, below the sink um, around the top uh, we've got the microwave shelf here there's a bit of delamination um, just in a couple of places like the uh, shelf there and um, the door and then I think on the, the kitchen um, actually it doesn't look too bad on the door there um, so it's pretty much only a couple of doors probably affected there um, which is much better than um, sometimes you find um, so I'm just going to sort of spin around you've got a nice really big window there in the dining area see the net curtain is closed but that's a big nice window there um, carpets in this living area um, probably original you do have some staining where obviously people have been walking through quite a lot um, the living room area is a bit better, uh, but just this sort of walkthrough area from the kitchen into the hallway is a little bit rough there. Um, same through the hallway here, obviously people have been using it as the main entrance rather than the front doors. So we've got one single side door here, and then as I say the sliding patio doors on the front. But I'm going to come to the back of the caravan and show you the main bedroom. So we've got a, a double bed there. Um, you could take the bedside tables out if you wanted to fit a bigger bed to be fair um, but as it is I think it looks like a um, looks like a, a double or a four foot six um, but it could, I could be wrong obviously don't have a tape measure on me um, bedside units there the low ones and high up there on the wall turn around we've got a nice mirror unit there uh, with some drawers underneath as well as good storage uh, wardrobe storage and then there's a little uh, sort of table there as well which does have an aerial point if you wanted to put a tally there. Uh, we've got an ensuite shower in here, I believe. So, opening this door here, you can see we've got toilet and sink. And then, if I step in, we've got a shower cubicle as well. Not the biggest shower cubicle, um, to be fair, but it is obviously in an ensuite, so um, it's not um, in the main bathroom. So, um, usually they tend to be a little bit smaller. Again, all fairly nice condition. Carpets in here are a little bit better than the hallway. Certainly could all be left. We could uh, rub dock to the hallway carpet um, and leave them all as they are. Um, cupboard doors all seem okay. There's not any obvious delamination anywhere. So back to the hallway and then we'll turn right here to look at our twin room. So we've got two good sized beds there, which I guess are two foot threes. Again, guessing as I don't have a tape on me. Cupboard units over the top, 
as you can see they've got a little bedside table between them but um, obviously it's quite small you could put these beds together if you'd rather so good good storage cupboards over the top and then spinning round we've got a nice wardrobe there with mirrored doors and a couple of drawers underneath which has got good storage there it is as I say double glazed and gas centrally heated so we've got radiators in each room so stepping back to the hallway area here um, forgot to mention you do have a hallway door there which closes off the living area and kitchen to the bedrooms which can be quite uh, popular often um, so you can close off the kitchen really from the, from the bedrooms so stepping into the bar, main bathroom here, um, we've got a toilet, as you'd expect, um, towel rail there. Got a nice looking sink unit. Um, we've got, um, and then a big shower here. So like I said, with the ensuite shower, it's a smaller shower cubicle, um, but this one is larger. It's got probably about the similar size opening door, but you obviously step into this one. Um, there's a lip on both of them to be fair but this is one of those sort of half half bath tubs that they put in caravans you could probably sit down in there if you really wanted to and fill it up to sort of a foot deep um, if that was tickled your fancy um, but otherwise as I say it's a nice big shower so that's all the inside really to show um, and on the outside um, if we want to just jump out and have a quick look I will just show you around uh, so we've got proper downpipes and proper domestic style guttering all around, which is handy. Um, we'll drop down and show you the chassis. It's a really heavy duty chassis, so it's quite brown there. Um, I think it's, it looks, yeah, it's a, it's a galvanized chassis, uh, but it's been by the coast. So whilst, whilst you can see, obviously it is brown, it, it's really solid. So it's just surface rust on that galvanized chassis so nothing really to worry about it's a big caravan so it's a bit difficult to show you the whole thing but i'll step around and try show you everything Pretty clean on the outside, a little dent there in the panel. Show you the chassis on this side. Heavy duty chassis as I say, nothing to worry about. So that is the Pemberton Mystique, 39 by 12 technically, but put a tape on it, I wouldn't mind bending it's a bit bigger than that. With the overhang and it's probably more like a 40 by 12, 6 or 13. And, even to be honest but um yeah Pemberton Mystique nice clean and tidy caravan carpets could be uh, updated to make it even nicer if you wanted to um, double glaze centrally heated thank you very much